Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, this is your reading for the month of May and in this reading we'll see how does your love life look for the month of May. What are the messages around your career, your money for the month of May? How's your health going to be for the next couple of days? And uh, look Cancer, if you have someone on, on your mind, then uh, I'm going to pull out a couple of cards and we'll see what are the messages regarding that person. Alright, so make sure you stay tuned in till the end. Right, I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll discuss the energies. And Cancer, there is also an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in the description box and comment section. Right, so in the extended reading, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Alright, so let's get started now. Right, so we have four of wands for you. Okay, this is for your love. Then we have moon and we have the hermit. When it comes to your money, your career, we have four of swords, eight of swords, and we have page of wands. As far as your health is concerned, king of cups, knight of cup, knight of swords, and we have ten of pentacles. If you have anyone on your mind, okay, if you're thinking about someone, then let me pull out the cards for that person. Okay, we'll try to pull out some messages for that person. Uh huh. Okay. Page of Swords, then we have Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, Two of Swords. So, Four of Wands, the Moon, and the Hermit. As far as your love life is concerned, Cancer. Okay, this is your spread. So, Cancer, uh, you may be dealing with Taurus, you may be dealing with Virgo, you may be dealing with another Cancer, you may be dealing with Capricorn. Very strong presence of uh, pentacle energy over here. Okay, you may also be dealing with Gemini, Libra. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. As far as your love life is concerned, I, I believe uh, a solid beginning is about to happen when, when it comes to your love life. Okay, uh, A very strong, solid, uh, a stable beginning is about to happen. And of course, this is a, this probably is a once in a lifetime opportunity to build a uh, to build a uh, to build a strong and a solid relationship okay so of course you'll have to build a very stable foundation at the start and uh, you know then you can carry forward this relationship so uh, so make sure that once you get into this connection into this relationship uh, some sincere efforts will be made towards uh, towards building up a strong foundation for this connection okay and uh, that's what I see over here. Both of you will make some sincere efforts uh, towards this connection. With the moon card, I, I believe that... Uh, look. Something will come to the surface regarding the past. Okay. Or it may happen that someone from the past may try to come back. But it's it's not going to matter to you. Okay, because I believe someone new is about to enter in your life. There is a very strong presence of a new energy. Okay, and it may happen that if you reject the past person, this past person may try to create hurdles uh, in your new relationship. But that is that is not going to. Uh, I mean, it it they won't be successful in their intentions. Okay, so that is why I see that you and your new person, both of you will make some sincere efforts to build a very strong and a sturdy connection because you also have a past and this person also has a past. So, and and it's like two mature people coming together and they they very well know that if if this connection has to be successful what are the what are the few primary and the priority things that you will have to do to make this connection very successful that's what i see so both of you will be working quite sincerely towards this connection at least the cards are indicating like that and uh, this this 
this connection will lead to a very strong spiritual awakening within you and your your partner as well maybe both of you have a a larger a bigger purpose uh, like why universe thought of bringing both of you together there is a bigger purpose behind this maybe uh, whatever experience you had in the past and whatever spiritual uh, awakening you guys are going to experience going ahead okay the spiritual ascension that you guys are going to experience going ahead what i feel is you people are meant to guide the world you people are meant to guide the humanity uh, uh, uh based on your experiences okay so maybe you guys may become motivational speakers uh, uh i see you guys standing on the on the stage and conveying messages to a large audience or uh, conveying messages in an in an auditorium absolutely jam packed with uh, with 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 countless people okay uh, so that's what i see you guys also have a bigger purpose as far as your career your money is concerned we have four of swords we have eight of swords and we have page of wands okay uh you know what i i i feel like uh, maybe you guys are getting a feeling cancer that someone is trying to take undue advantage of you okay or someone is trying to take undue advantage of your nice and kind behavior and uh, you are confused like you try to convey to this person you try to show boundaries to this person but somehow this person they they did not take you seriously and like really becoming aggressive is something against your true personality you don't like becoming aggressive okay it's uh, you you take a strong stand but you also take a strong stand in your own natural uh, way probably uh, i mean you don't like to shout on people or you don't like to become hyperly aggressive okay but what i see is <clears throat> there is someone within your energy who is trying to cross the boundaries time and again this person may be at a workplace this person may be someone with whom you are dealing for your business uh, reasons or maybe if you are of uh, uh if you if you have a presence on social media then there are some people there are some souls who want to project negativity on you and you are conveying them that i don't want to block you guys or i don't uh, like you are showing your boundaries to to these people to these energies but you are constantly observing that you know the boundaries are constantly flouted okay so i i see that you will have to become bit aggressive in your approach which is something against your against your inherent nature okay and that is why i see that uh like literally you will have to shout on people or literally you will have to raise your voice on something like that which is against your inherent nature and i see you may consume lot of energy in that okay so by the end of the day you will have you will experience lot of tiredness lot of exertion so uh, so that's what i see again there is there is work related stress you have lot of multiple priorities your platter is absolutely full and uh, people want your attention people are demanding your attention and giving attention to almost everybody is is such a stressful task okay at the same time i see you are trying to accomplish lot of things but it's it's like it's like your platter is already so full and overflowing that taking up additional responsibilities without additional help is going to be uh, it will start taking a uh, it will start taking toll on your health so make sure that you manage work properly if you are trying to expand your work okay whether at a job place whether in your business i i believe you are going to need some additional help or you will need some additional workforce okay so don't try to do everything on your own as far as your as far as your uh, health is concerned we have king of cups knight of swords we have 10 of pentacles uh you will have people to take care of you i mean if you're trying to achieve something as far as health is concerned like uh, if you're trying to 
uh, reduce weight or if you're trying to gain weight or if you're trying to tone down your body okay uh, and if if you if you are required to have a specific diet for that you'll have people to help you out in your dietary requirements you'll have people to people at your disposal like uh, taking uh, probably you will hire a cook or you'll hire someone at your home and uh, I, I see your health is going to improve to a large extent even if you don't have any kind of assistance I simply see cancer that uh, uh, you know people will willingly offer some kind of help uh, to you and whosoever is going to offer this help probably they will be romantically interested in you okay so that's what I see and uh, you may find someone so like if you if you are a gym freak or if you like working out regularly if you like uh, to go in the park for running or for a walk or if you like to hit the gym uh, I, I see you're going to meet someone over there okay which will turn out to be someone quite significant maybe a, a you this person may become a very good friend of yours or this person may turn out to be a romantic interest okay but there is some sort of a connection between uh, between your health and your uh, um, your next partner that's what I see health is good health is good and you have to take care of your health especially if you are someone like you want to achieve a lot of things in your life then you have to take care of your health okay if you're a hard-working person if you're a dedicated person you better take care of your health as far as uh, if you have someone on your mind uh, then these are the messages for that person okay regarding that person page of swords then we have nine of wands and hierophant and two of pentacles look cancer uh, the person uh, who is on your mind that person is also interested in you so if you're wondering whether they are interested in you or not yes they are definitely interested in you this person is watching you this person keeps on spying on you if you guys have not interacted they are spying hard on you if you guys are in connection if you guys have started interacting this person keeps on going through your phone and your messages and everything this person has access to whatever uh, you do okay and you are someone who is very honest and someone who is very transparent like you don't mind giving your phone to the person like ah you are like you want to go through my phone right go go ahead and check it out i don't have anything in my phone so i i see like uh, if you're wondering whether they are interested in you or not then yes they are interested in you because this person is watching you secondly they have the intention to come towards you or they want to talk to you regarding something but they are not able to muster up the courage probably they want to talk about commitment if they haven't approached you so far then this person wants to come they they want to come towards you and they want to get into some serious heart to heart conversation and what they want to convey in that they want to convey about about their intentions to commit to this connection they want to offer commitment to you okay but this person is going back and forth on that it's it's the main reason why they are going back and forth is because they don't have enough of courage they don't have enough of courage okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below okay the link for the extended is in description box and comment section we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person okay bye bye then